hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we will talk about one more optimization technique known as bin packing bin packing or you can say file compaction okay before going into the understanding part right how actually it works right first of all let's understand is this optimization method comes with spark or delta table or data bricks so basically this optimization is given by the delta table itself okay now now we need to know what data compression does right or what file compression does basically right so as the name is suggesting right the file compression compaction basically what it does is in the delta table right what it will do it will consolidate multiple or you can say in, it will consolidate many small files into a one large file now why we need it why we are doing it right so to understand this problem perfectly or to correlate this problem with our daily uh, projects right what you can say in your interview right you can say let's suppose i have a transactional table okay this transactional table basically holds the information of an employee okay now every day you are inserting the records or updating the records or deleting the records right in this table 10 times okay now suppose you are ingesting these type of files every day 10 times right for next one or two years right so what will happen right uh, since you are ingesting the data every day right after few months right what will happen over a period of time the files will keep on piling up right and you will have tons of files right so many files okay now when i wanted to retrieve when i will try to retrieve some information maybe after a year or after two years right what delta table or what delta engine has to do delta engine will go and search the data in all these small files right so the performance will be degraded over a period of time because the number of files are keep on getting increased right and the delta engine has to search each and every file even though the data skipping is there right if you don't know the data skipping i would suggest you to go and check my previous video right but still the number of files are increased so obviously their uh, logs are also getting increased right so anyways you have to go and check in the logs right so what will happen the overhead is more you are going opening the file searching the record and then giving back to the user right and it will create a problem while searching the record or while trying to fetch the data or query the data from the data table so this is the problem statement and it's quite uh, i'm like it's quite normal right these kind of problems generally we, we face it okay so to solve this problem what delta table gives us is a command known as optimize okay now what this optimize does is the same thing which i am talking about in the file compaction case right what it will do it will read the data i mean like it will read the data from so many files and it will create a one bigger file which will hold the data for maybe let's say 50 files or 60 file or 70 file or 100 files right it's up to the configuration now we'll talk about the configuration right on what basis it holds the data so by default it holds 1 gb of data okay so let's suppose if i have 10 files and each one has having maybe let's say uh, 100 mb records right so what it will do it will sum up 10 files and it will create a or 11 files or it will create a single file out of those 11 files and this one file will have the data for all those 11 files so obviously the number of files will be reduced right in the delta table the number of files will not be reduced but the scanning for the delta engine right the number of files to scan via delta engine will be reduced okay because what it does is it will create this new bigger file on top of these files these files are still be there these are not going anywhere these small files will be there but we will have that bigger files also whatever bigger files are created they will also be there 
so let's suppose earlier we have thousand files and now 10 more bigger files will come right so the total number of files in your delta table will be 1010 okay but delta engine will just scan these 10 files in that case because these tens will hold the data for all thousand files right so the number of files are still there but it has to scan only these 10 files and that's how the uh, query performance will be improved okay so if, if in interviewers if interviewer ask you right what will happen when you run the optimize command does it remove all those files and create a large file no the small files are still there right because what if later on you wanted to go on a previous version right so to maintain that history it will keep those files there okay it won't remove we'll talk about how it remove or when we wanted to remove all those things but but currently until unless you are not removing it manually it is still there okay now we understood what is optimized we understood what is file compaction we understood how the files will be there in the in physically right in the in the delta table now let's talk about the implementation part right so implementation is quite easy right we just have to remember some syntax right so the syntax wise first of all you need to have the delta table instance with you so how to create delta table instance you can write delta let's say table one or something whatever the name you want i'll keep a delta one delta table and then you have a class right delta table object you can say four path or name or whatever you wanted to give right four path and you can pass the path of delta table it will give you a delta table object correct now you can use this optimize command with PySpark as well as SQL. So we'll go ahead with the PySpark first. Okay. Now, if you wanted to use with the PySpark, what you can do, you can use the name of Delta table, Delta table dot, then you can use optimize command and you can also give the size of these files, right? The, the 10 files, right? See, if you don't give size, it will create each file of 1 GB if you have this much of data. If you don't have the data, if the data is less than 1 GB, obviously it will create less one file with less amount of data, right? If you have more data, obviously it will be uh, creating number of files, more files, and each file will be of 1 GB or something. If you want the size to be less or more, you can use execute compaction command with target size target size and here you can give the size in bytes okay if you don't give the size in bytes let's say if you keep it like this right it will create one gb file by default i hope you got it okay now if you wanted to use the spark right i'm like a sql what you have to do again you can use the delta table name you can just simply write optimize dot sorry no need to dot it's not spark my bad right optimize and then you can write one minute let me remove it optimize and then you can simply write delta table name whatever is the name and that's it you're good to go so this is how we can use optimize command to compact the files present in the delta table i hope it is clear now let's move to the databricks notebook and see how we can achieve it so here is the notebook let's uh so what i'm doing here is if i see you if i show you this is the dbfs location where i have couple of partitions available okay if you see here and it's the delta table okay in the last video i have created a few uh, if you go and check my data skipping video, you will see this, how we have created this, okay? So, these are the partition files in the delta table, okay? The by default, the size in the bytes, right? So, let's see the size in the MB. Here, I am converting these file size by multiplying it with 1020, 1024, and you will see the size is 12 MB, 
okay now what i will do i will use uh, the pyspark command let's say to optimize this delta table now as i said to optimize it what i have to do i have to write delta let's say this is my delta table employee i'm just giving an example okay and then i'll say delta dot four path and inside this i can give spark comma the file name it is already given what it will do it will create a data bricks uh, basically delta table object i have to import this let me import the delta table from delta dot tables import delta table fine let's run this now now i have the delta table employee object with me now what i will do to optimize it i'll simply write delta table emp dot optimize in brackets dot execute compaction we will talk about one more method here so if you see here we will get execute z order by right we can use this also we'll talk about it we can use where clause also right like whatever uh, partition you wanted to optimize not all right you can use that also we'll talk about it but let's first talk about execute compaction right i'll do like this okay now since i didn't decide any size if you see by default the sizes are 12 mb okay i'll go here and i'll just simply run it so by default the size should be i mean like should create as 1 gb okay but since the size is very less let's see what it will do and i can show you right the default files these are the default files i have 7 let's see what will happen after optimizing it it takes some time because it process each and every file so generally these kind of processes are your maintenance jobs you should run it when you are not i mean like um, like when you are not doing your ingestion and other optimize or other activities right maybe you can schedule it in the weekend or something right it's done okay so let's see here let's refresh it and if you see here we have one more file present now earlier there was only one zero 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 right part but now we have two files so if you see here earlier i had nine records now if i run it again the same code let's see how many records are there okay my bad i didn't check the size first of all one minute files now i have to run it so earlier it was nine right okay if you see here this is the file right which got created and if you check the size of this is 100 mb it is cumulating i'm mean, like it is basically uh collecting the data from all these files and it will create one more file with 100 mb of size so this is how optimize command works for you okay you can go and check in the history as well so let's say i will use the ai here and check delta table history okay let's accept and run it so let's see what it will give you so it will show you see you have used optimize command right and what optimize has done it you will see the here it is yes it will show you so what it what it has done is basically in it it basically used eight files it's saying number of files removed but it is not removed it is just that the data is being taken from those eight files okay number of bytes size per byte and this this is all 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 everything 
okay so all these files are removed and it created a new file right so this is how optimize helps you to optimize your data table and reduce the query timing so i hope this gives you some idea of optimize and bin packing or you can say file compaction thanks thanks for watching this video in the next video we will talk about z ordering